Um, so this is the gray water system we're building. Um, it's 80 centimeters deep on this end and 60 centimeters deep on this end. Um, and what it does is when the water comes out of the sink or the shower, instead of it running and creating a big trench, it's going to come down and it's going to filter through to this first spot where uh, the food will settle on the bottom and the grease will settle on the top. And then there's another, there'll be another tube right there. And then when it goes through, we'll have filled this with sand and rocks and it'll filter through. And then it takes about a day or so to get through. And by the time it reaches the end, it all kind of just goes into the dirt around it um, and gets rid of this trench. And then um, it's a good idea to build or to plant plants around it. Um, so the plants can absorb the water um, and it, and the uh, hole doesn't fill up with too much water. Um, we've dug this in about an hour, so we're doing pretty well. What's the hardest part? The coba, this thing. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, we're doing pretty good. What else? Oh yeah, because there's not standing the, uh, there won't be standing water in the trench. It also helps uh, for mosquitoes not to start nesting there. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. And do you like working with uh, with the Nicaraguans together on the project? How does it go? Are you guys able to communicate? Um. Yes. Yeah, a lot of them laughing at us <laughs> and hand signals. Um. Lots of hand signals. But overall, um, they can work a lot harder than we can. That's for sure. Hey, Jorge. No puedo ver. ¿Cuál es el propósito de ese proyecto? El propósito de este proyecto es primeramente eliminar las charcas. So the purpose of this project is to eliminate um, puddles and, and open water. Mm -hmm. So we're able to avoid the presence of, of mosquitoes that would affect our families by doing this. Mm -hmm. Jorge Salazar is el jefe de ese proyecto. <laughs> digamos todos los estudiantes que han venido a cooperar con nosotros en nuestra comunidad se encuentran trabajando en diferentes eh, hogares eh, tenemos un grupo trabajando donde la mamá de Wilma que ahí estamos haciendo un biodigestor eh, tenemos otro que es este que, que el cual estamos observando y lo tenemos donde Luis so um, we've had many groups of students come to cooperate here um, and work with us. Now we have um, three groups working uh, from this UW Oshkosh group, one working on a biodigester at uh, another family's house and two groups putting in these gray water systems. Eh, hemos hecho también otro otro tipo como un reservorio de agua, lo cual este ha sido utilizado con doble propósito. Uno de ellos, desde de, de que después que la utilizamos eh, en la mano, en la atrás, eh, es utilizada esta agua para eh, establecer algunos huertos familiares dentro de la familia. So another purpose of the gray water systems is to um, provide water to use. The water can be reused from household use, from the sinks and showers, um, to uh, be filtered and then used to um, provide water for family gardens. La cantidad que hemos elaborado en este momento han sido cinco. So far they've done five of them in this community. Yo pienso que, digamos, so, uh, and I hope that people are going to see the benefits of these work, this, these projects, and that we'll continue um, expanding them in this community. Yeah. 
porque eh, hablando un poco de lo que son los biodigestores, digamos, ahí nos estamos ahorrando leña, eh, estamos evitando el humo y por ende nos estamos ahorrando dinero para comprar el gas. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, the biodigesters have a, uh, three great um, outcomes. One, they reduce the use of firewood. Two, they avoid smoke in households. And three, uh, they save money for families so that they don't have to um, buy gas. And the tube goes in. Yo no sé cómo está el nivel, ¿cómo lo miran ustedes? De hecho, tiene que bajarse ahí porque está casi encima del, del, del suelo. Sí. Porque casi está bien ya. Wow, you guys are really working hard. Hey. We don't have any buckets. There's always something to do in Nicaragua. <laughs> Here, I'll scrape for it. Yeah, scrape Problem, you want to be able to have access to that system. It's not, it's not water like 
with pressure, like, what like water, like household water. Yeah. Just water running from the tank. So it's probably going to be super good. I'm going to silicone it in the bucket. Yeah. 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 These are cool people though. It's going to be cool. Yeah. 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 So, so basically, um, you're just gonna put the the um, glue underneath, and then just wet your finger and like spread it around a little bit. Yeah. No. Like this? Yep. What's that? 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 para posteriormente irlo a disculpar. Cooperación. Cooperación. Esta vez no hubo mucho café. El café. Ajá. Los chiquitos. You can bend it over. Okay, here we go. Not all the way, but. <laughs> oh, wow. Climate, climate. Bring it, bring it. No need. De esta es la manera. Que se corta, ah. Un Amarrado aquí. ¿A quién se lo ponemos? Princesa. ¿Quién es el canasto? Ven. Princesa. He wants you to take the basket. A ti. How do I do this? Do this? What? Down to your waist. Oh, this is fantastic. Can I throw some in? Ahí, ahora vamos a ir. Over there, over there. I don't know. I don't see. Whoa, yo. Holy cow. There's a beehive over here. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> so are these normally just covered in coffee? Yeah. Yeah. Over here, Jorge says. Boy. 
¿Y cuando salen la gente a cortar café, normalmente cuántos salen? Digamos, en época buena, o sea que de La Paz ahorita han dado gente en la zona okay, norte. Ajá. Una ginotega, Matagalpa. Se van por 15 días. Se van dando aproximadamente de 100 a 150 personas. Ajá. Y en esta zona hay mucha, mucha cosecha to, todavía. Este año, digamos, en esta época ya está pasando. Uh -huh. La época más fuerte es noviembre y diciembre. Ya a inicios de enero, pues, ya es poco la cantidad. Sí. Pero sí es necesario sacar el último granito. Ajá. <risa> Are they bad ¿Te gusta cortar café, Brian? Sí, ¿no? Me divierte. ¿Antes, cuando era niño, saliste a cortar? Sí, muchas veces. Uh -huh. En donde, en los otros cafetales de Jorge, todas las mañanas, con mi mamá, a cortar café. ¿Cuántos años tenías? Como ocho. Uh -huh. 8 o 7 años. ¿Esos son maduros? Sí, Dula. ¿Son amarillos? Sí, existen muchos tipos. Uh -huh. Pero el más común es el rojo. Rápido vas. Cuando trabajaba con mi mamá cortando café, rápido. Yo tiene el otro café, la otra variedad. ¿Te la amarillo? El amarillo. Le decía este, este otro tipo de café. Es similar al capturra. El tamaño de la planta, lo que cambia es el, el color del grano. Pero la característica es similar a la del capturra. ¿Y tiene diferente sabor? Eh, no. El caturra y el caturra amarilla, el caturra roja es igual. A donde sí varía el, la, el, el sabor es el caturra, el, el borbón. Uh -huh. Pero de hecho, digamos, si, si vos tenés varias muestras de café, uh -huh. eh, ya en oro puedes darle también, ahí salen diferentes sabores. Más de un cortín. Un cuartillo tenemos ahí. ¿Cuartillo? Sí, la mitad de un medio. Es half of a medio. That we take. La que es un granito. 
Quiero un discurso. Show me the bags. They're huge! <laughs> For 34! <laughs> this is so much! This is five Christmases worth of something! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody want to crank? Yeah. Get in there. Get in there. Which way do you go? Uh oh. Uh oh. Go the other way. Nosotros en el día entre dos nos hemos desculpado cinco paneras. So he said up to five um mon cinco qué? Cinco paneras. Paneras son una panera veinticuatro medios. Okay. So like a hundred um medios in a day they can they can depulp when they're doing this by hand like this. Yeah, 400 pounds. Mm -hmm. Of like processed coffee. So we you to buy some coffee before we? Um. 
if you want to buy um, unroasted coffee, you definitely can. We're not sure if they're going to have any roasted. Because um, they roasted over a fire here. Oh. If you want to try that, you can. We'll see if they can get some roasted. Yeah, I want to try that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the green stage where all those ones are kept at? This also produces gas. How? The pulp of café. It is used for the production of gas. And also for the elaboration of the organic food. So you can use the pulp, the stuff that they're taking off right now, for uh, organic fertilizer um, or to produce biogas. Oh, oh cool. Get a single oh. one. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Whew, Every last bean. <laughs> there you go.